Hi, welcome to Your Great Journey. Each week we offer you brief tips, techniques, and insights to help you move in positive directions and master big change. For more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W E T W A R E M E D I A.com. Today, we have an excerpt from the audiobook, The Awakened Introvert Practical Mindfulness Skills to Help You Maximize Your Strengths and Thrive in a Loud and Crazy World by Dr. Arnie Kozak. If you feel overwhelmed by the frenetic pace of life, this audiobook will help you to create and preserve an oasis within and around you. While it is written primarily for introverts, it's a helpful resource for anyone looking to feel more calm and peaceful. If you often wish that you had more time to catch your breath and restore your energy level, then introducing this short meditation into your schedule can make all the difference. In this episode, Dr. Arnie Kozak, a psychotherapist, professor of psychiatry, and a mindfulness expert, offers comfort to those of us who spend our days feeling run down and low on energy. If you tend to push yourself to accomplish more than you have the energy to do, you'll appreciate this special guided meditation focused on helping you recover and protect your energy. Protect your energy. Embrace your limits. Energy is the power to do things. It is motivation, inclination, and movement. Energy is an unseen force. In the Chinese practice of Qi Kong, energy is understood as the invisible forces such as gravity and electromagnetic radiation that surround you. Energy can't be measured, but it can have a profound effect on the quality of your life. If you don't protect your energy by setting limits on activities, it won't be available when you need it the most. When your energy is low, activities you find difficult as an introvert will feel even more difficult. If you expend too much energy extroverting, you may find that you don't enjoy the activities that you usually enjoy. Without good energy, life can become a pale shadow of its potential vividness. You may be caught in a trap where life looks like a never-ending to-do list without enough time to do everything. Pushing yourself too hard for too long results in fatigue, exhaustion, and burnout. Tony Schwartz, founder and CEO of The Energy Project and best-selling author, wrote in the New York Times, Paradoxically, the best way to get more done may be to spend more time doing less. A new and growing body of multidisciplinary research shows that strategic renewal, including daytime workouts, short afternoon naps, longer sleep hours, more time away from the office, and longer, more frequent vacations, boosts productivity, job performance, and, of course, health. Use the tools in this chapter to find opportunities for energy renewal in your day. According to psychologist Marty Olson Laney, introverts are like rechargeable batteries, while extroverts are like solar panels. For extroverts, socializing is like the sun. It charges them up. But you cannot recharge a rechargeable battery by placing it in the sun. It must be taken out of service and plugged into a power source. So, if introverts are rechargeable batteries, what is that power source that you need to plug into? It's mindfulness. Mindfulness gives you the ability to recharge your batteries anywhere and anytime without complete withdrawal or shutdown. Mindfulness practice is, in essence, the study of energy. By bringing curious attention to the unfolding of your experience moment by moment, you are studying the flow of energy and also tapping into it at the same time. This connection to your energy allows you to move in ways that will benefit you. You'll feel rested, recharged, and renewed. Mindfulness can also help you to identify where your best energy is during the course of the day. Spend the next few days monitoring your energy level as you move through the day. This information will help you to better protect your energy. You'll likely notice variations throughout the day. 
identify your prime energy times and see if any patterns emerge. You may notice, for example, lulls in your energy that come in the mid-afternoon hours. Monitoring your energy will help you to create a strategy for managing your day. When you have the ability to arrange certain activities, it makes sense to do the tasks that require the most energy at the times when you have the most energy. If you try to do difficult extrovert activities during a period of low energy, you may not perform your best. If you know your energy will be predictably low at a particular time, plan for this by not scheduling activities that require your best attention at that time. For instance, if having meetings require your best energy, consider scheduling them at times other than your energy low point in the mid to late afternoon. During that interval, do something that does not require much thinking energy. Organize your desk, clean your office, or do other low energy level tasks that won't tax you very much. Formal Practice The Recovery Meditation This guided imagery meditation practice can be a helpful addition to mindfulness practices when your energy has been exhausted. It can help you to establish a portable sanctuary to protect you and nurture you whenever the extroverted world has gotten to be too much. Get into your meditation posture. Bring your attention to your breathing and your body. Let your mind settle into this moment. Imagine being enveloped in vapor. Its cloaking anonymity comforts you. You are hidden as you move through the world. By surrounding yourself in this protective vapor, the outside world cannot affect you as much. You can give this vapor a color, or imagine that it's shrouding you in the soothing aroma of lavender or some other scent. You are safe and invisible in this spacious vapor. It forms a protective bubble around you. Some occasions require something more robust. You need the protection of wood. If this is true for you now, imagine that you are encased in soft, smooth wood. Wood is impenetrable and also soundproof. The potential disadvantage of wood is linked to its advantage. Its protectiveness comes at the cost of mobility. You are hunkered down in deep recovery mode. Enjoy this immobility and feel your energy restoring slowly. With each inhalation, energy comes in, and with each exhalation, you let go of fatigue. Keep breathing in this way until you feel your energy rising. In severe circumstances, you may need to put a protective layer of armor over the wood. Not much else can get done. If this is true for you now, imagine that you are wrapped in an impenetrable armor. 
enjoy being inaccessible to people, tasks, and anything other than restoring your energy. Give this your top priority and just breathe in silence and stillness. When you feel restored, open your eyes and resume your normal activities. Meditation Reflection Take a few moments to reflect on this practice. Where do you need to restore your energy? In what situations might you do this practice? Can you think of other images that will aid you in your efforts to restore your energy? Thanks for listening to this excerpt from the audiobook, The Awakened Introvert, practical mindfulness skills to help you maximize your strengths and thrive in a loud and crazy world. You can purchase the complete audiobook from any major online audiobook retailer. If you'd like more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. Please be sure to subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode. And if you like the show, please rate and review it. And please, share it with friends who might also enjoy the show. Thanks for listening. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks, available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W-E-T-W-A-R-E-M-E-D-I-A dot com.